at present, we have an access uh, of all patients to the John Radcliffe for immediate assessment driven by four hours from onset. With the transformations that have, have, have been undertaken in stroke care in the last 18 months or so, where mechanical thrombectomy, where we use devices to pull out clots rather than just using drugs, we need to get patients to the John Radcliffe to enable equitable access from the whole county to this life-changing treatment. This is a very intensive, highly specialised intervention that very few centres in the whole of the UK can provide. And we're very fortunate that we have one of those centres here in Oxford. We also need to provide equitable access to the rehabilitation that enables the best recovery for patients. Through the Early Supported Discharge Service, which we hope to expand from the six postcodes it currently covers to the whole county, we hope that we will enable patients to have therapy in the comfort of their own home, enabling them to have uh, therapy targeted and ensuring that they uh, maximise their chances of returning to functional independence in the environment where they're going to spend the rest of their lives. And that's the whole purpose of the, uh, the ESD being incorporated, early supported discharge, incorporated into this consultation. When it comes to immediate ask access to a hyperacute stroke unit, the major benefit to patients is the immediate assessment with specialist imaging and access to immediate specialist assessment by consultant staff, both physicians such as myself and my radiology colleagues, where we can make the immediate decision whether mechanical thrombectomy is potentially helpful to patients. This is a decision where uh, an immediate assessment and immediate decision really do uh, enhance the chances of um, patients returning back to how they were prior to their stroke.